Hi everyone, my name is Russ Armit with Ballymore Company and today we are going to go step-by-step -step instructions on how to properly diagnose a Signet H324 charger. Before doing any repairs, proper documentation is required. You will need the left serial number, serial number of the old component, serial number of the new component, cycle count, hour count, initial voltage test, and any other pertinent information. When you arrive, find a live outlet and plug in your lift to check the charger. The Signet charger is a smart charger that will evaluate the conditions of your battery. During the start of process, a series of lights will flash as it tests the condition of the batteries. Remember, if the batteries are below 23 volts, there will be a delay in the green lights. With our multimeter, we are going to take a baseline reading of our batteries. A baseline reading can range between 16 volts to 24 volts. The characteristics of a good charger are the lights will come on and you will see an increase in the voltage. A bad charger will have no lights, no voltage. In the rare instance that you smell burning, crackling, or see smoke, unplug the charger and replace it immediately. If you have any signs of a bad charger, move on to the testing procedure. Tools required for testing are a multimeter and a Phillips screwdriver. With the lift plugged in and using the multimeter, check for voltage at the secondary plug, which is located right behind the TM1 mounting bracket. The male plug is connected to the charger and the female end of the plug is connected to the Leviton. We want to check for voltage from the female end. If you do not have voltage from the female end, the problem is not the charger. Check your Leviton, charging cord, or your 110 power supply. If you do have voltage from the female end, then the charger should be replaced. After testing voltage at the secondary plug, now check for any loose connections at the back of the Leviton. After checking all of our connections, the charger still isn't working. Now you can proceed to replacing the charger. Once the charger is replaced, please plug in the lift to a live 110 outlet and tell a store associate to leave it on charge overnight. A full charging cycle takes at least six hours.